Boom. Now we're cooking with gas. Now we're cooking. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yo, shit goes hard in the... Go. We got the intro song going. We got the lights going. I got my hot water going. Today is May 17th, 2022. Man, we, the blood the blood moon just happened. We just had a solar eclipse just the other day. No, 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 the moon eclipse. But yeah, guys, so here we go. We're here for another live podcast. Here we go. Let me get out of my car. Here we go. Boom. Boom. Yeah, I came dressed up for this podcast. Man, we got an amazing guest today all the way from Kentucky. Everybody stand up. Let's give a round of applause. Come through. Call your friends and family. This is going to be available on all podcast platforms. I am lit. It's going to be another fire episode. This is all hype. Let's go. Woo! Nice, bro. That was the intro. That was the intro. Here we go. I'll count down three, two, one, and we'll go. We'll bring out the volume back up. Boom. Here we go. Three, two, one. Welcome, best friends. Welcome, listeners all around the world. Woo! Man, I got to bring the excitement. I'm bringing the energy. Here we go. I'm your host, Rico Suave. They call me Latino Heat, a.k.a. the most electrifying podcaster in the whole world, baby. Ariel. Yeah, that's my intro right there. I thought of that myself. Okay, here we go. Guys, thank you so much for all your support. God bless. We have an amazing show, May 17th, so let's get right into it. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. So here we go, guys. We have a guest all the way. I say all the way, all the way from Kentucky, okay? He is a CEO. He is the host. He is an owner. He's a retired army. And he's a celebrity bodyguard. I give you the host of the Eric J. Great Podcast. Woo! Hey, hey, what's up, man? Yo, Eric, what it do? What it do? What it do? Where you at? Turn up. Hey, man. Just chilling, man. Taking life day by day, man. That's it, man. I'm the same as you, day by day, second by second, living in the moment, living in the present. Bro, so happy that you're on the show. We scheduled this long ass time ago. Yeah, I was just telling my homeboy, man, I was like, you slick gave me a reminder because I had a screenshot in my phone and under my favorites. <laughs> we, scheduled, we scheduled it a year ago, so I was like, you know, it was a long time ago. Dude, I saw it. I'm a little behind from last, like I've been a little behind from um, Mother's Day. Ever since Mother's Day, I was a little behind on the podcast, so I've been a little behind on emails. So uh, I appreciate you on the on, on just coming on the podcast, dude. I was like, yo, I got to hit up my boy, make sure he knows that the podcast today, boom, 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 and here we are. So thank you so much, man. Boom. Dude, so right before we get into what you do and we talk about your podcast, I got to do a quick shout out to my website. So here we go, guys. Everybody all around the world, tune in right now. We're going to, uh, the best way to support the podcast is by going to arielent.com. Arielent.com. There you can book me for my music, my photography, my podcast. Go to my shop and you can uh, buy my merch right there, guys. You can book me for my music, photography, podcast. And make sure you buy the merch. Arielent.com. Five-star review on Apple and Spotify. Five-star review. Apple and Spotify. Thank you so much. Um, another great way to support me is by going to my incredible YouTube channel. I'll repeat, the incredible Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast, just type that in the search engine, type in arielent.com, and I will pull up. Definitely. We hit 351 subscribers, guys, so thank you so much. All right, all right, here we go. I drop two to three podcasts a week. All right. Um, I, got the, I got the prayer here somewhere. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Here we go. She's Louise. That's what I'm talking about. The desk is so busy over here that I had to find the prayer. I think I'm getting. Oh, oh I think that's it. Yeah, that's all the. That's all my promos. Here we go. This is the prayer of the day. I want to say thank you, God, our guardian dear, to whom God love commits us here, ever this day and night, be at our side to light and guard to rule and guide. And I want to say thank you, God, for having Eric on the show. I want to say thank you, God, for all the millions and millions of listeners tuning in right now. Thank you, God, for uh, providing us shelter, food, and perfect health. 
and our amazing family and our dreams and wishes coming true. Thank you, God. Praise God. Glory to God. Amen. Boom. Yeah. That's what I got. Today, I said, is May 17th, and I got shout out to my mom. She got the 365 days of inspiration. So today's oh, May yeah. 17th. And let me pull that up real quick. May 17th. Shout out to my mom. There we go. May 17th. There we go. The only difference between a sinner and a saint is found in their attitude toward their sins. The one persisting in them, the others weep bitterly. Boom. All right. Let's bring our guest back in right now. He is called Eric, and he has an amazing podcast, and we're going to talk all about it. I can give you guys back in the show, back in the game. Eric, what's up, bro? Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Yo, dude's turned up. So happy you're on the show right now. Tell us what you do, man, and um, where we can follow you. Okay, man. You know, I'm um, Eric, 28 years old. Okay. I'm from, from Birmingham, Alabama. I've been in uh, Louisville, Kentucky for two years. I retired from the military in June of 2020. And uh, since then, I got into the podcast game around April 2020. And uh, I just got more consistent with it in the past year or so. Um, podcast is called the Eric J. The Great Podcast. It's on 11 different streaming platforms. I'm on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube. Amazon Music. I also got a Facebook page that you can go like and follow. Uh, Eric J. The Great Podcast, where I post all my uh, information about upcoming episodes and my Instagram right here, Eric J. The Great. You know, I'll follow you back. I just uh, recently just got like went viral. So that's why it's a, a big uh, disparity in my following and my followers, but I do follow back. But Oh no. my gosh, yo! Tell us how you went viral, man. Tell us how you went viral. Uh, just just posting reels, man. Like I got a couple reels that got over a couple uh, thousand views, and people just started following me, man. So, uh, it just you know I just post stuff you know that I like. You know what I'm saying? Dude, do you so, post? Do you post consistently? Um, some as far as my photos, no. But reels, it just depends on what I got going on. Like, I do my reels uh, every day. I don't post all my reels and share it to my feed. Like, if you go up to the top, like, I keep my reels separate from my post page. Yeah, so like yeah. You can, you can keep it from actually being on your page. I try to, like, uh, diversify my page and keep everything I post strictly for my podcast on the reels and don't put it on the main public page, you know. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I got um, a couple um, photos and stuff that I post like weeks apart. You know, I'm not a real big picture person, you know. Dude, that's amazing. I want to let everyone know where they can follow you. Everybody pull out your Instagram, your Facebooks, and um, go follow our boy Eric. That is called Eric J. The Great. Eric J. The Great. That's his Instagram handle, Eric J. The Great. And then as well, his podcast is, his podcast, his podcast yeah, is called Eric J. The Great Podcast, guys. Go blow it up right now. And that's my link right there that you oh. uh, got right there. If you click that link, it has every link to oh, every 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 day that I'm on. Yeah, yeah, I'm on right uh, oh. yeah, I'm on 11 different. If you scroll down, I'm on uh, all those platforms as far as my podcast. So. Dang, we're talking about Twitter. We're talking about Overcast. We're talking about Google, Amazon, Radio Public, Instagram, Apple Podcasts, YouTube. Let's bring it up. Let's go to the YouTube because that's what we do. We bring up the YouTube. All right. Yeah, I just got, I kind of mastered the YouTube a little bit recently. So I figured out what I got to do to get views. So, you know. You mastered the YouTube. Wow. There we go. Let's go to Eric J. The podcast. Yeah, my 86 Knot interview did good with this hip hop artist uh, that I interviewed like three weeks ago. I got like 5,000 on that one. Wow, man. You're killing it. You're killing it. Guys, go subscribe. We're going to do it live. Boom. Subscribe. The Eric J. The Great Podcast. The Eric J. The Great Podcast. Right now, go blow him up right now. He's got the YouTube. He's got the link tree. Oh, not link tree, but the bio for all his 
uh, places where you can listen to him and then go to his Instagram guys, like share, comment, say, follow, like, comment, share, say, follow. This is a follow for follow podcast. Let's blow it up. Boom. All right, let's get to the first question. Eric, first question of the day becomes from a guest, from a guest to our show. His name is Oliver. Oliver, thank you so much for the question. The first question of the day is Eric, what made you start your podcast two years ago? And um, what made you start it? There we go. That's a question from Oliver from Texas. Well, you know, um, around March of 2020, it was like two months before I got out of the military. And yeah. then that's when a pandemic first happened. So I was like, you know, we everybody had a lot of times on their hands because, you know, uh, everything was shut down. Yeah. So I was like, man, I need to find something to do. And then I was like, man, me and my friends be having all these conversations you know, barbershop type conversation. So I was like, I want to start a podcast. So, you know, uh, me and my buddy was 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 going to go into it at first, but uh, he wasn't consistent as I was. So I just decided to do it by myself. Yeah. Uh, I went through Anchor, started a podcast. And, uh, you know, I had to find out the ins and outs. So it was kind of slow yep. at first. Yeah. But once I figured out, you know, how to do it, and um, I just kept doing it and, uh, my all my episodes are all audio, but this week I'm starting to do visuals because I figured out, like I told you earlier, I figured out how to do the visuals now. So every episode from this week forward is going to be visuals and uh, uh, visuals on Spotify and visuals on YouTube. Every other platform only offers uh, audio, but uh, Spotify has video and YouTube has video. But I did it just because a lot of people like to hear perspectives on different real life topics i don't just do interviews i do talk about real stuff like police brutality child support fake friends so like people be having these conversations but you you can get more reinsurance in yourself if you hear somebody else from a different background or the same background just from a different person had the same views that you have and you could be like, oh, well, I'm not crazy because all these people are saying the same thing that I'm thinking to myself, you know? So that's why I like doing it. And I have people wow. tell me tell me recently that coming on a podcast helped them vent mentally. Like they was like, I needed to get that off, you know, just talking about things that they was going through currently. And I just happened to be doing a topic about it on that day. So nice man so you're touching the you're, you're touching people's spirits and their hearts with your podcast and um you're growing man you're figuring out things how to grow like on the youtube and stuff like that dude that's legit the next question here eric i have here um is from let's see i can't read the name lucy Man, we got a lot of Lucy's that listen to the show. Shout out to Lucy. Or maybe it's the same Lucy that sends the questions. But Lucy, thank you so much for listening to the podcast. It means a lot. Um, who has been, uh, Eric, who's been your big influence on the podcast? Like, who inspired you? Um, biggest influence, I will have to say, as far as real life, um, I would have to say I inspire myself because I've been thinking about it for a while. But as far as like someone that I've been looking at for a while, I would have to say you have to be between Vlad TV and million dollars oh, yeah. and uh, and million dollars worth of game. I would say million dollars worth of game first with Wallow and Gilly because even though they do interviews. I like how they have the spinoff in the interviews where they talking about real life stuff and making it feel heartfelt. Like they saying, yo, like the y'all youngsters need to stop killing like in the streets and stop going to jail. You know, that's not the way to go. And they be speaking real stuff to like make people feel like, Hey, I need to turn my life around. So I was like, you know, uh, I feel like, you know, we could do it either. We can eventually get to their level or do it on a on, on our scale, you know, and still give people they might not be able to get on a big podcast like that, but they could come on our show and feel welcome and you know, just feel relieved to get some some steam off if they're currently going through whatever we're talking about that day. Wow. That's nice, man. And so uh 
Oh, this, I like this next question because a lot of people start a pot before they, they don't start a podcast because they get a little um, intimidated by it. So this question is a good one. This question comes from Shannon. Shannon says, oh, this one's a good one. This one's a good one. Any advice for upcoming podcasters? For what would any be the, advice? the biggest takeaway you would give somebody that's starting a podcast? What would you tell them? Well, you have to look at anything, a podcast, and you have to look at anything that you want to do as a business. Mm -hmm. Now, I know you can have a passion for it and, you, you know, you put the work in, but you want for one, you have to be consistent because mm -hmm. I was looking at all the big podcasts. When I first started out, I was only doing one episode a month and I figured, I, oh, no, nah, that ain't going to work. So I was like, all the bigger podcasts do one to two episodes a week. So I was like, I'm follow that model. And um, you have to have a marketing budget too, because one thing that I do do to increase my screens, mm. I, follow, I follow a lot of celebrities on Instagram and, and occasionally they post promos. So they'll be like, hey, $200 to, to, to post whatever you're trying to promote. So, you know, you follow all these rappers and stuff like that. They do that as a hustle. Whoa, so whoa, whoa, whoa. Back up the truck. You're saying, you're saying, you're hitting up influencers, rappers, like whatever. Go to their profiles and see if they... Well, they'll make a post. They'll make a post and they'll be, they'll be like, hey, I'm doing a promo today for two, three hundred dollars. Hit the DM. So I hit the DM and then, you know, they had a cash app or PayPal or however you want to wow. do the action. You pay them and then they'd write you back and be like, what you want to say in the caption and what you want me to promote? And I'd be like, hey, post my podcast, say hey, everybody, go follow Eric J. Gray and click the link in his bio to listen to his podcast. Because you got to think about this too. If a person got 2 million followers, right, it's not a chance that all 2 million is going to see it, but at least 10% of those people is going to see it. Yo, for real though. So, so if you so if, if only 10% out of wow. his two million followers Thanks see this, two hundred thousand people is gonna at least see this, especially if you uh because some people they'll post it on their page and their story. Because you know, some people will look at stories and don't scroll down their feed like that. So sometimes I pay for both of them post on a story and the um thing. Sometimes they'll charge 500 but I feel like depending on how many followers they have, yeah. it'll be worth it. You know what I'm saying? So I don't do that that often, but I at least try to do it at least probably about four to five times a year. And some people, I don't see on um, this girl named Suki. She's like a hip hop rapper, this female African-American. She got like 600,000 followers, but her reach is crazy on her analytics. She reaching millions of people. So even though she only got 600,000, I know her page is booming. So I'm like freaking... She only be charging 100, 150, you know what I'm saying? I know Cherokee, the, the porn star, she charges $75 for promo. And wow. she got three million, she got three million followers on That's Instagram. What's That's what's up. She's making bang. Cherokee D uh Cherokee D ass, you know, so you know, um, that's one thing I would say, you know, you have to have a marketing budget on how you're gonna grow your audience. Wow. And, that's in, and that's in that's in any business you have to have promotion whether you do billboards whether you do go to the radio show because you know you can go to your radio station and the radio person will pay you know what i'm saying will charge however they want to charge you to just shot you out on the radio you know what i'm saying like if you're in a small city they ain't gonna charge you that much like I know people that got on the radio for two or three hundred dollars, you know what I'm saying? And they shot them up and they paid them. <clears throat> they paid them once a month and they shot them out at least a couple times a week on the radio. So like that's a couple tactics that you could use to, you know, to grow your podcast, you know. So you're saying make your podcast into a business and then so you can do a market have a marketing budget and at the end of them when tax season comes you can write this all off right because uh if you got the LLs, i got my llc i got my eia number i got my duns number so and this is goes for you know if you got decent credit you start your business credit you get your business checking account throw a little money in there and get your business credit card depending if they give you like two or three thousand off the rip 
you could use this business credit card to pay for that promo that I'm talking about to go to, you know what I'm saying? To build your credit and pay it back at the end of the month with your, with your own money. You know what I'm saying? Just to build your credit and things like that. You know, I just got my LLC and stuff recently. Like I didn't have my LLC when I first started in 2020. I just got this like two or three months ago, but, um, it's uh Instagram. You have to use social media. Like people is on Insta on social media to make money. So if you using a uh, podcast is all about monetization. You're trying to get monetized on all these platforms and get all these screens. So you have to use the influencers that got all the the, the, the following, you know, because they trying to make money too. They going to do all these promos. And I know you probably don't seen some before, but you probably didn't pay that much attention to it, but yeah, I pay attention to that stuff. I scroll down and see if somebody doing hundred, two dollar promos, because they, because you got to think about it, they got six hundred thousand followers. Thirty people hit them up for two hundred dollar promos. They they can run up twenty thousand real quick just off promos. So, and they gonna post it, you know, they gonna post it. So, it's just like you know, you just have to believe in yourself on the marketing side and just you know, uh, take take risks, you know. I love that. Believe yourself in the marketing side. Believe yourself in the marketing side. Dude, you should get that tatted on you, bro. <laughs> that is fucking dope. Believe yourself in the marketing side. Let me put that, let me write that down. Believe yourself in the marketing side. Nice, man. I've been taking notes throughout this whole conversation. You know what I do? This ain't no game. People play like it's a game. This ain't no game. All right, next question here comes from our boy Rex. Rex from California. Thanks, man, for listening to the podcast. It means a lot. Woo! All right, he wants to know. Uh, here we go. Oh, this one's a good one. This one's a good one. What's the coolest accomplishment you're proud of? In life in general? Yeah. Could be anything. Uh, the proudest accomplishment I'm, I will have to say is uh, retiring from the military. Mm. I did that in June of 2020. Jeez. And uh, besides that, um, I would, I would, and uh, I would have to put my um, my podcast up there too. But I, uh, but I would say retiring from the military because, you know, um, I went to Afghanistan twice mm -hmm. and, um, and I got a lot of friends that I joined the military with. They got killed in Afghanistan while we was there at war. So a lot of people that I was close to didn't make it back. So for me to be able to reach the point to get medically retired, keep all my benefits and get the same benefits as and money as a person that does 20 years and knowing that, you know, I could have been uh, deceased just like some of the people that I was close to, you know, based off uh, previous situations that I would say they would have to be my proudest accomplishment. Also, you know, I got a certificate signed by Donald Trump for the president based on my service. So, you know, that's, that would have to be my proudest accomplishment. Beautiful. The certificate from Donald Trump. And then just being here on earth, waking up every morning, being grateful for that, just waking up every morning. And then, um, yeah, man, that's, that's deep. That's, I like that, man. And then, um, tell us about the, uh, the, 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 you're, the, the, the podcast and retiring from the military, man. Thank you so much. Tell us about, tell us about the certificate from Donald Trump. Did you, were you able to meet Donald Trump? No, I wasn't able to meet it, but you know, um, once you go through the retirement process, it's like a six month process. So I started it in December of 2019. And the last thing you get is your DD 214 is basically like your government form releasing you from the military. And then you get all these, your retirement certificate and from all these high ranking officers. So they give you like this vanilla envelope. So I look in there and see, you know, all the signature blocks that's on there, you know what I'm saying? Just to see who all signed, like the general and all those high ranking people. So I got one from the secretary wow. of the army, uh, the chief of staff. And I got one, it's like a real a rectangular certificate with Donald Trump signature on it basically. Cause I was in a special ops unit. So we was on some, some other stuff we got sent on oh, special stuff. Yeah. So, uh, 
you know, uh, I got every military award that you can you can think of as far as you know achievement. So even if I was on the end for eight years and I got medically retired, I still accomplished like everything you could possibly accomplish except getting the highest rank. You know, I got out as a sergeant. So wow. So you're saying we got 10 minutes. So you're saying that you're specifically saying that you know top secret stuff. Oh, uh, right. Damn. That's another level right there. That's just, that's deep right there, man. So uh, just, this is great, Eric. Thank you so much for being on the podcast. Um, I, what I got, let's just go with the next question, man. Cause I just want to ask you questions that I can't even ask you. So here we go. Next question is going to be from XG. XG wants to know, um, how do you want to be perceived from the world? Uh, oh, from the world, just in life in general. Yeah. How do you um, want, how do you want the world to perceive you? I just want the world. I tell everybody, you know, just like anybody I've come in contact with and people uh, get the vibe from me. Like, I just want people to perceive me as me. Like, I'm not trying to be nobody that I'm not. I'm not trying to be no, no gangster. I ain't trying to be no, no, no person that's, you know, acting like they're better than other people and things like that. I'm just, I'm just me, you know, I, I help people when I can. I try, I try to be good to everybody I come in contact with, respect, and, you know, I, I believe putting positive energy, you, know, you put positive energy into the world, you get positive back. So as long as you don't do nothing negative towards people, you know, you won't expect no negative back. So that's how I, I try to stay perceived. Everybody say I'm positive and humble for the most people. So that's what I try to do. I love that. I love that positive because when you put positive in the positive, you're going to get positive back. I love that, dude. Guys, go blow up Instagram. Eric J. The Great right now. Pull out your phones, pull out your iPads. I know you guys have it in front of you right now. Eric J. The Great. That's the Instagram. Like, comment, share, say, follow. Hit the link. It's called Insta Bio. It has all his Insta Bios, his links to his podcast. And um, click whatever you want to support him on, all the above. How about that? I hit the YouTube. Also, man, I got another thing I just started, man, before we go to the next question. I got another thing, too, you know, and you might be interested in it. So I just, uh, my um, podcast just got verified on Google. So wow. my, my uh, podcast is on Google Maps and everything. So I got a thing that I think is a good deal and people should take up on it. So. I got a thing called podcast sponsorship. It's only a hundred dollars a month. Every episode I do, if you got a small business, podcast, whatever, every episode I do, I will promote your 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 business or your podcast on every episode for a hundred dollars. I usually do four to six, four between four to eight episodes a month. So that's basically you paying a hundred dollars for promoting it for on every episode per month. And you know, uh you know, you can DM me on Instagram or, you know, on my Facebook page, Eric J. The Great Podcast. And, you know, uh, if you want to take up on that offer. That is beautiful. Thank you for that offer. Thank you for letting us know about that. That's the Eric J. The Great Podcast on YouTube as well. Make sure you guys subscribe that. We have seven minutes left. Let's get through these questions real quick. And then, uh, yeah, we have six minutes. So we'll get straight. If you can answer these real quick, dude, that'd be awesome because that's how Zoom likes to do us now this next one comes from koki k-o-k-i he wants to know um what's your favorite kind of hobbies besides doing the podcast what do you like to do when i guess he wants to know what do you like to do on your fun time um i like go-karts i like four i like four wheelers and, okay uh, and i was real good um i was uh, a big time athlete in high school i had scholarships for basketball and track in high school. So, uh, and I played uh, for the army team in the military. Oh so, my gosh. My, nice, my jersey, dude. Yeah, my jersey got retired in my high school in basketball and a career leader scoring points. So uh, I still like playing pickup ball, go to LA fitness and still hoop. I'm still good and I'm I'm not too old so I can still get out there and, and run with them. So. Got you, man. Dude, geez, that's super dope. You're staying young. You're being active, you know, you're, you're just looking out for yourself. You know, we got a long time here. We got a long time here. Like you said, you like, you like go-kart four-wheelers. 
track, basketball. Dude, that, that's awesome. Because those are big, those are things that you love doing and you have fun doing it. So that, the, the spirit loves that. All right. We got one last question here. We got five minutes left. We got, and then we're going to drop, we're going to do this last question. Then we drop the outro. Now I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Five star review on Apple and Spotify. Five star review on Apple and Spotify. Thank you guys so much. The donation links are down below. The donation links are down below, guys. And if you have any feedback, comments, you already know, drop it down below. Thank you for the DMs, the comments, the emails, the phone calls, and just all the love, guys. You guys are blowing me up right now. You guys are blowing me up. I'm so grateful. So thank you so much. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast, uh, arielent.com. We got four minutes left because my producer is looking at me. And I'm like, I'm ignoring him. So here we go. Last question of the day. It comes from Tim Crow. Tim Crow. Shout out to Tim Crow. He is all the way in Michigan. He, this, is, this is the question right here. Eric, here's the question. Any advice for anyone going through a tough time? Um, well, you know, anybody going through a tough time, I give you a little peek inside my life. So 2020, tw between the end of 2019, 2020 was the worst time of my life. I was going through a divorce. I lost over, I lost $30,000 in the span of eight months over, you know, my wife just damaging the house and doing spiteful stuff to make me pay for it and things like that. And, you know, I just had to swallow the pill. So I basically lost, you know, my car, everything, you know, in the span of six months. And I basically got out the military with that and I got it all back in three months. I got real depressed at that time. And, uh, you know, got real depressed when I lost my one of my best friends from the military. So uh, I would say anybody going through a tough time, you know, what I did was, you know, no matter what you're going through, you if you waking up every morning, you got something to be happy about. So uh, start off your day by thanking God for waking you up in the morning, putting that positive energy out there and uh, and just uh, just just pray, man. I say, you know go to go to church uh you know i'm i'm already been baptized and uh received the holy ghost but anybody that hasn't and you believe in jesus build that spiritual growth i ain't saying you got to go to church every sunday but initially you're gonna have to go consistently to build that spiritual and it so when you're not going you know what to do when you feeling down and things like that you know pray you know ask god to show you the way and put good people in your life and keep yourself around positive energy because a lot of times you have people around you that's not good for you and when you're going through the toughest time in your life that's who you find out who really down for you i know when i was down i used to pay people rent i used to pay people card notes and everything as soon as i got down all of them disappeared so it's always good to know who really for you and keep positive people around you, whether you up or you down, so you you can know how to navigate and just keep God first and keep praying. Jeez, God first, keep praying, ask God to show you the way and have positive people around you. Jeez, that was amazing, Derek. Thank you so much for that. That That's just amazing wisdom right there. Thank you so much. Is there anything else you need to say? We got less than a minute. Um, I would like to say uh, thank you for this opportunity, man. And anytime you need me to come on, I'm I'm open. This is my first time being a guest on someone's podcast. So, uh, you know, uh, I appreciate it. And everybody, you know, I got the podcast sponsorships for the hundred dollars a month. Mm -hmm. if, you want, if you want me to promote your podcast yeah. or anything, every time I do an episode, just DM me on Instagram. We can set some up. And, um, you know, uh, if you want to be a guest on my podcast, you know, I don't charge people to come on. It's, I, I'm willing to dialogue with anybody about anything, you know. So, and most of half of my topics is I haven't even came up with. So, you know, I let the people choose. So, you know, I appreciate the opportunity, man. And everybody follow my podcast on all streaming platforms, the Eric J. Degree Podcast. All right, that's how we do. Arrows Entertainment Podcast, DJ, drop that track. Woo! That's how we do, guys. Thank you guys for all listening right now. Arrows Entertainment Podcast. That is the Eric J. The Great Podcast. You guys, go blow it up. We do a big, that's how we do. Zoom is now, oh, I'm so upset with them right now. I hit them up right now. I shot them an email, let them know my feedback. Zoom, what are you guys doing? But that's besides the point. 
Guys, Eric, thank you so much for being on the podcast. I'm going to drop this probably like in a couple of weeks. You already know I'm going to drop it ASAP. Oh, I'll send the file over soon when it saves as well um because it's gonna throw us off here soon ariel's entertainment podcast ariel ent.com god bless everybody love yourself love the animals love yourself as much as you can guys all right cool i'm so grateful to be alive i'm grateful to wake up every morning so we like we say thank you guys that's what we do put god first like what eric said guys go blow them up